Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I know um, I used to be doing vlogs but now I've ventured into the crafting world uh, many years later and I am super excited because I just got this box from Mindful Image. She is um, setting up a brand new subscription box and this one is uh, junk journal themed and then she also has like a mixed media art theme as well. So um, the way that it works is I believe it's 50 bucks for a box and you can get a monthly subscription um, and then the challenge is to use everything in the box for uh, one project and I'm assuming you have to use just like at least a little bit of everything I'll have to get clarification on that but I am super excited to open this um, we had a little bit of a snafu with the mail so I've been waiting forever and watching all the other testers open their box she did send this to me um, at shipping cost uh, so I could test it out and show you guys what it's all about so let's get into it I'm so excited okay all right, love the branding. She's got it everywhere. We've got a little, another sticker there. Beautiful card with her QR code. That's probably not going to uh, uh, focus. Hello friend, thank you for joining the Mindful Challenge. You have received an assortment of new and vintage or recycled items collected and curated to spark your creativity and challenge you to create with materials that you might never have used before. This subscription box can be used in two ways. You can just enjoy all the new items and add them to your stash or collection, or you can join us in the mindful challenge. You do not have to use the shipping supplies as part of the challenge, but you are welcome to do so. This is how the mindful challenge works. I challenge you to make one project utilizing every single item in this box. You can use any and as many of your own supplies. Join us in our Facebook group where you can ask questions, get inspired by new ideas and show off your project or your box with others. Every month I'll be choosing a winner from the participants and that winner will receive a free mindful challenge box. I hope you enjoy your box very much and I hope to see you soon in our group so that you can share your box and your ideas and your project link with us and then the group link. I am already part of her group. Um, was better the second she um, selected me to be a tester so that is super exciting all right so we got some pretty pink paper definitely saving that oh my gosh so right off the bat <laughs> this is cool I see these ah oh, okay those are on the bottom I have this I've used it I love it these are some of my favorite papers. Okay, anyway, anyway. Oh, we have another gift, uh, not gift card, <laughs> business card. And this beautiful uh, little wax seal mini journal. This looks like coffee dye, tea dyed paper. Oh, that's so cute. That would be great to tuck in. I guess it goes like this. Awesome. Thank you for your purchase. Okay, I don't know if this counts as packaging, uh, but it's hollow, so I'll probably use it. <laughs> this ooh, looks like some like Tim Holtz style, like ephemera, like uh, embellishments. Let's see. Eh. Eh. Don't dump it everywhere. How do we get itty bitty tiny little? Oh, this will be so cool. Tiny little things. Oh, wow. They are itty bitty. <laughs> so cute. All right. So I see some tags in my future. I actually have some mini baby tags, like tiny ones that I made. And these would actually fit on them as if they were like normal size on a regular size tag. So that might be a cool idea trying to think of what I'm going to do with all this because it looks like there's a ton of stuff in here <laughs> to use. Yeah, these are all um, like nice, like heavier cardstock pieces, which is, which is nice, easier to handle with them being so tiny. I think this is regular. Oh no, that's also, it's not as heavy, but it's also a cardstock. We got a tag. Looks like these are uh, digital digi prints. Very pretty. The 
that's so cool. Cool, so I've already got a lot of tags pre-made, bases basically, and I can put these on them or whatever we want. Ooh. Ooh, 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 these are like the cardboardy kind. I love the cardboard ones. Oh, started doing it off camera here. So pretty. All right, so that was all just one tiny little bag. <laughs> We've got some stickers here. Movie star. Tinnick Rose, maybe? Are they stickers? Or are they rub-ons? I think... I think it might be... I cannot tell... I think it might be rub-ons. Ugh. Anybody else challenged when it comes to this type of thing? Alright, no. This is a sticker. Just one big sticker. Interesting. So I guess I would cut it out myself if I wanted to use them. Cool. Oh, happy day. Happy. Oh, I love this music one. These are um, uh, clothespins. Wooden clothespins. Got some cute ones. Maybe stick those um, to clip some things in and have them sticking out, sticking out of the journal. Very fun. Oh, I have been looking for some kind of like jewelry like this so I can have chains and stuff to use. So this is awesome. I love using chains on covers. And this, I'm not sure what I'll use this for. Maybe a front, probably. So pretty. Ooh, we've got some washi tape. This is very cool. It's like um, a bunch of vintage ads, it looks like. I think I finally found the end here. Very cool. That'll be awesome. I've been trying to do some more, uh, we call them manly journals, but more masculine style journals because the junk journal world tends to get pretty floral pretty quickly and uh, my brother-in-law said do you have anything that's like you know a little less girly so that's been my challenge recently is to ch make things that are maybe could go either way so 12 pieces these are some beaded gold safety pins man words are not coming to me today like we have some cut out words spread seeds of love understand build fairy tale those are cool it's Easter okay oh 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 don't throw that away I got this wonderful tassel here it's very medieval I love that and then some gold uh, washi tape, gold butterfly, red washi tape. Love that. Looks like there's a really good amount on these, so that's really nice. And we have some more vintage washi tape. So this looks like kind of like the same thing as that, only obviously blown up, so it's they're bigger, easier to see. And this one, oh no, it does roll this way. Okay. I love how vintage this all is. Oh. oh my goodness, is this a stamp? This is. Looks like he used a very pretty little flowery stamp. And I don't have very many floral stamps yet, so I'm excited for that. Do, 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 do. Okay. This really cute little Gaussian style bag. Okay, so we've got some whoop, some playing cards. Hmm, what am I gonna do with those? And celebrate the journey. Oh, that's cool. Little tag. Oh, stuff falling out everywhere. Oh, another one of these guys. This is looks like a like printed out on a glossy 
almost chipboardy page or piece a graded spelling book that's cute ah. pretty lace frame on printer paper Ooh, another glossy cardstock this is uh, in another language so I'm not totally sure what it is passport maybe something like that very cool Ooh, away in a manger old music that's awesome I love music and then this is a beautiful little envelope see look how nice that is like yeah <laughs> maybe I should learn to do mine that way and awesome okay so Tags, 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 and more tags. Ah, old receipt paper. It looks like it's been, oh, that's cool. Way to make it look old. So I've seen these like at the Dollar Tree, um, but I didn't think to just, you know, stamp all over it and then make it look, that really makes it look like it's something, something extra special. So love that idea. Oh, we got a fussy cut. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Very pretty, pretty lady. Word search. I was just looking the other day at maybe putting these, one of these or something like that in a journal. So now I can be challenged to do so, we'll see. All right, oh, I'm running out of room. There's so much stuff in here. Okay. Ah! Okay, this looks like it got a little bit uh, marred. I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, so we have, I think the washi tape's supposed to, supposed to, so we got a regular, slightly beat up envelope used, but that's the whole point of junk journaling, right? Using things. So we've got this taped on, a little stamp, a little sticker, and then I guess this string is put on with like a glue gun type of wax seal. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be removed or supposed to hang there. Mm -hmm. Not sure what to do with this. We'll have to uh, give her a bit of a makeover, I think. I see red ribbon. Oh, yep, just red ribbon. Okay. Maybe perhaps that was on something. Uh, pretty, pretty tag, cardstock. I have no room left. My foot's falling asleep. One sec. Okay. Ooh. This is vellum. Looks like a vellum envelope with some beautiful sheer fabric and lace on it. Oh, I love that. Oh, well, it looks like it did tear. That's one of the uh, downsides of vellum. I love the stamping on this. I think it's stamping. Perhaps it's printed. I don't know. It looks like it's printed. Cool. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, ama oh my gosh. Sweet. They've been sent. I've been looking for stuff like this. Oh. I just didn't want to pay 50 cents a piece. So, huh? Because I don't want just like one or two. I want like 50. <laughs> so that adds up quick. These are cool. Right, so it looks like I got one used one and then all these beautiful vintage unused ones. Oh, there's a little airmail pocket envelope. That's pretty. A collage tag of that. Very cute. Some washi, some magazine page, book page. Nice. And then this is looks like a game board or card of some kind on that glossy cardstock again. So very cool. All right. Sabriel Garth Nix. So we've got a book front and spine. That could be interesting. Oh, 
and the back and book pages. Nice. That's awesome. So you literally, literally like have everything that you need. <laughs> Almost everything that you need. I could probably, I wonder if I could just use just this stuff. Love this. I have some of these. Dollar Tree for the win. I do not, however, have these. That's pretty. It's all about the journey. Some paper doilies. Can never have enough paper doilies. Tea dyed or coffee dyed coffee filter? Hmm. I wonder what I would do with that. Hmm. Do I keep it intact or do I rip it up and make it texture on the places? I don't you know? I don't you know? And then we've got some beautiful 12 by 12s. I'm assuming these are 12 by 12s. Yes. So I just used this, um, a lot of these actually, for a three journal set that I gave to my brother-in-law and his wife for their wedding. And I love these so much. So I'm so excited to have more. That's awesome. This one. That. Ooh, very pretty. Alt Couture. I didn't use this one. It's kind of cool though. Ooh. And then we've got pretty vintage ladies a free gift to women's world readers very cool this reminds me of the Sears row book I have a couple of these this is a catalog from 1909 and seeing this just I think somewhere back here is like the women's dresses and corsets and things and they're just so cool. So I will probably use some of these with that. And this was one of my favorite prints from that. Uh, make sure I'm not missing anything. All right, I think that's everything. Doo -doo -doo. I will definitely be keeping this, but I think we're gonna get rid of the Easter egg packaging. All right, so let me see. Here is everything. That's quite the spread, especially, I mean, for $50 uh, in the challenge, definitely enough fun to be worth your money. I can't even fit everything on here so that you can see it. Um, so I am very excited. I have no idea how I'm going to use all of these. I think it's going to end up being kind of a chunky monkey journal. So, um, Stay tuned and we shall see what I decide to do. Maybe a series. Ta-ta!